Hey everyone, welcome. I'm doing a dry wash and go. That's a new one for me. I'm using the Palm and Honey collection. And in this video, I'm using their leave-in conditioner and their curling custard. If you want to see a video on me using the other products from the line, check the cards and also down below in the description box. I'm starting on very old hair. <laughs> it's about five days old, five or six days, and it is time for some reviving. I use the pomegranate and honey collection previously already in the week. So I'm going to go right in to spray my hair with some warm water just to open up the cuticle, add a little bit of moisture, make my hair pliable. I like to smooth any product into my strands because I do have low porosity and it is hard to get that moisture into my strands. I'm going to take a medium sized section and do a light finger to tangle. So I was doing my research, I was looking up videos on how to do a dry wash and go. And most people, they probably add just a little bit of water but not a ton of water. I love to apply product on drenching, soaking, wet hair because that's how I get the most definition for my hair. But we are gonna see how this works. So I just applied a little bit of water I'm gonna take their leave-in conditioner and apply it to the full section because I need a layer of moisture before I go in with their custard. And this leave-in has a ton of slip. I'm able to detangle easily, so I'm going to do a light finger detangle. And I am going to further detangle it with a wide tooth comb. Like I said, I'm doing this on old hair and my hair was a little knotty. So I want to get all those kinks out. And then I'm going in with the curling custard. This has a very jelly, slimy consistency, which I love because this is going to give my hair slip and it's going to give a definition. I'm applying a good size amount, not too much, not too little. I'm applying it to the full section and then I'm going to break that section into a smaller section because I want to ensure that I get some definition. So I'm then going to apply a little bit more of the custard. I'm going to smooth it in and start to separate my curls. For the back section of my hair, it's very loose in texture, so it's very easy to get definition. So I was definitely impressed, but I really wanted to test it on my kinkier sections, which is this section I am doing now. I'm applying more custard if needed. I'm not applying any water and I'm hoping that I'm getting some definition. Now, as you can see, I'm getting some definition. I do have to coil my ends. This is going to ensure that I get some type of clumpage. It's giving me light definition, <laughs> very, very light definition. And I'm just going to repeat those same steps on the rest of my head, apply the product, coil my ends. And at this point, my hair is drying very fast, so I appreciate that. That's a plus side to doing a dry wash and go. The downside is that I'm not getting too much definition. Another good thing is that my hair is fluffier than normal and my hair isn't weighed down. So in this section, I didn't even apply any water. I just wanted to use the product like some people do in their videos and see what happens. And it did help. I definitely did have to apply a lot of custard to get my hair to define and get any type of curl pattern. So I wasn't mad at that. I was just mad at the fact that when my hair dried, I got flakes. Okay, from doing that, I got a ton of flakes on that side of my head. So... 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I try it out on freshly washed hair because I did have product previously on my strands. Maybe if I tried it on hair that had no product on it at all, maybe I would have got different results, but I did get a ton of flakes. I did get a lot of definition and I didn't have to coil my ends as much. I just smoothed the product in. So I guess there's an upside and a downside to this method. If you have a looser curl pattern, this will be a lot different for you. You probably wouldn't have to use any water at all and you could use less product and you still would have got definition. This process took me about an hour and 10 minutes to do. So it didn't take that long. And my hair is about, I would say 40 to 50% dry. So definitely love that because when I wake up in the morning, my hair was completely dry. So I'm just going to fluff and manipulate it just to get the shape I would like. My hair is very soft. My hair is very moisturized. My hair isn't limp it has some life so my ending verdict is dry washing goes i think it would just be better for curlies with looser texture i don't think it works that great for kinkier hair because the water helps in aid in getting definition when you apply the products on top of your strands so i probably wouldn't do this again because even though with my washing goes i don't get a lot of frizz my hair is usually just very poofy <laughs> i like that look for my wash and goes but this gives me so little definition if my hair was drenched and soaking wet i definitely would have got more definition to my curls so it definitely depends on what i like or what i would like at the moment do you do dry wash and goes or do you just love doing wash and goes on soaking drenching wet hair if you've gotten this far why haven't you subscribed? I'm confused. Why are you watching this video and you haven't clicked that button yet? Click that button, subscribe, because you know you like the content. It's all right. Also, give it a thumbs up while you're there. Okay? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.